obviously sad and uh, disappointed. I'm uh, not at all surprised by uh, what the state senator today. It was something that I knew they would do a long time ago, pursuant to a variety of different dynamics that were taking place since the, the world changed for us on December the 9th. At some point, uh, I'd be happy to share some of those insights and thoughts with you. Uh, but I'm really here today just to say how uh, how grateful uh, Patty and I and our daughters Amy and Andy for the opportunity to be able to serve the people of Illinois as their governor for the past six years, how blessed I personally feel that I've had a chance to get up every day and try to fight for ordinary people, average people, people who otherwise don't have a voice, and how grateful I am that it wasn't just getting up and fighting for them, but that we, over the last six years, have been able to achieve a lot of things for real, ordinary people and do it in a way, as I said earlier today, without burdening them, without burdening the middle class, without raising taxes, expanding health care for all of our kids, giving all of our senior citizens free public transportation, giving all of our uninsured women access to mammograms and pap smears, and God forbid cancer is found, the treatment necessary to cure them and make them healthy giving all of our three and four year olds and every parent of a three and four year old the same opportunities to send their kids to preschool like Patty and I have had an opportunity to do for our kids. Put a record amount of money in education without raising taxes on people. Raise the minimum wage two times for low wage workers when President Bush wouldn't raise it even once. Just real things for real people who otherwise don't generally have a voice and are generally not the priorities of government. Uh, I'm obviously sad by what's happened, but again, as I said, not at all surprised. And I want to say to all of you, the people of Illinois, who I've been blessed to represent as governor for the last six years, and before that, as a congressman for six years, and before that, as a state legislator, and before that, as a prosecutor, that I love the people of Illinois today, now, more than I ever did before. And thank you. And the fight goes on. Just because I'm not governor anymore doesn't mean I'm not going to keep fighting for you and for the causes that I fought for my whole life. For ordinary people like my parents who worked hard and struggled to build a better life for their children. Who knew what the struggles were, who had fears and challenges, but also had hopes and aspirations and big dreams for their kids. Those simple values that they teach us in Sunday school. The golden rule. That you should do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Those are the things I'm going to keep fighting for now that I'm in private life. And I also want to say that I'm going to keep fighting to clear my name. I'm disappointed in the state senate's actions because they deprived me of an opportunity to bring witnesses and prove my innocence. I wanted to do that sooner rather than later. I guess I'll just have to wait until I have my day in court. But again, to the people of Illinois, God bless all of you. Thank you for giving me a chance to represent you. I want you to know I haven't let you down. I've gotten up every day thinking about you, fighting for you, pushing and prodding for you, being frustrated on your behalf, frustrated at a phony kind of politics that loses you with everything, frustrated with a phony kind of politics where politicians talk a big game and not interested in getting things done for you. We've done real things for you, real tangible, meaningful things that improve your lives. To know again how much I appreciate you and how much I love you. And I just want you to know, give me a chance so I can show you I haven't let you down, that I've been about trying to do what's right for you. Thank you. God bless you. Governor, what will you do now? 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 What's next, Governor? And now speaking to a Spanish speaking cons constituency.
and shaking hands and smiling for the cameras, now doing apparently one more act for the good people of Illinois. <laughs> Snapping some pictures to remember the moment. And when you, they don't allow you to bring witnesses. 